Hey Diary listeners, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. So I want to start off by just giving a little insight into how I was MIA last week, right? Um, um, I know it's not necessary, but it's my diary. You guys are my peeps and I think um, being transparent is, is okay. We're better. <laughs> right? I'm going to give you some insight into why I was MIE. Secondly, we're going to see what kickball is. And lastly, we're going to make Micah's birthday cake here. Yeah. So first things first, I want to explain as to why I didn't upload last week. I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to it and I truly appreciate all the calls and the messages that you guys would have sent to me. Um, you know, just trying to make sure that I'm okay and that kind of thing. Um, for me, for some reason, I was feeling overwhelmed. Um, there was a lot of things that were happening. And um, then the mental strain of trying to do YouTube and, and put out content and edit the content. And I, I don't want to sound like if I'm complaining, but it just was a lot last week. Um, I even started to get really <laughs> fed up of hearing my voice for some strange reason. I don't know why, I don't know what it was, but I was feeling uh, like really overwhelmed. So I took that weekend off and um, we're back. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I'm feeling much, much better. And um, that time I took, it just sort of reminded me about the firm boundaries that I have to put in place as well. Um, just re I, it just reiterated that for me because, but really and truly, I do appreciate the messages and stuff to make sure that I am okay. I am okay. I just need a little bit of time. So that's a little update. The second thing was I did a couple of things this week and one of those things was kickball now i did not play kickball eh? <laughs> but i found out what kickball was and i was able to check from the sidelines because <laughs> ain't no way ain't no way <laughs> i am not athletic at all not an athletic bone in my body at all and i know my mother she might watch this and be like hmm but yeah i have no athletic bone in my body i'm sorry um, so I found out what kickball was. This kickball is basically baseball, but you're not using a bat and a ball, you're kicking a ball. And you have a team and they run to different bases. That's what I gather from it. If I'm incorrect, somebody correct me, please. <laughs> but that's what I gather from it. And it was, it was really good. I'll show you some clips from that. Um, but I felt as well I was like a old soccer mom, as the Americans would say. Um, you know, like in Trinidad, you would watch in these stands when people playing football. Um, so we call soccer football. I, I think that is though, you know, the whole soccer mom being back in the stands home watching football, right? Um, so that was a good little thing because it was something new that I opened myself to be like, hey, you know, this is happening. Go and see what it is like rather than you know doing something that you're accustomed to doing and that kind of thing so yeah that was cool Call 
Okay, so tomorrow is Micah's birthday, right? And he requested a cake. So last year I would have made a chocolate cake and it came out really good. I'll try to spec and attach a picture so you guys can see it. I find it come out good. And it tasted really good too. No, I would have done one the year prior to that as well, but it wasn't aesthetically pleasing <laughs> in terms of like stocking and looking nice and the icing looking nice and yeah no so um he requested that same cake i mean it did taste good eh? the cracked one did taste good okay it just just wasn't aesthetically pleasing to the eye but it tasted really good um but the one last year it tasted really really good the icing was nice it looks tall bought <laughs> i'm just being biased but he requested the same cake again and i'm hoping to do it for him the same way or even better so we are going to make some chocolate cake for my hubby no my guy's not a, a fancy person he is he don't like expensive things that like he don't care for it i shouldn't say he don't like it he don't care for it um i asked him what he wanted and that's what he wanted so we're gonna make a chocolate cake let's go all right so let's start right on the counter we have two cups of all-purpose flour two cups of granulated sugar a half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder one and a half teaspoon of baking powder one and a half teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of kosher salt a cup of whole milk two large eggs and a half cup of vegetable oil. On the side there we have vanilla extract and we're gonna use one tablespoon of that. So we are starting with the dry ingredients first before we do the wet ingredients. And what we're gonna do is sift the cocoa powder because normally sometimes cocoa powder has like little lumps in them and you don't wanna bite into that, right? After sifting the cocoa powder, we're going to add the two cups of granulated sugar and then we're going to add the one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. So in my experiments with chocolate cake, I learned that coffee does sort of like help enhance the chocolate flavor. And I'm just going to throw one tablespoon of that and then put some boiling water. Give it a bit of a stir and then add that in when I'm doing the wet ingredients. Now I'm going to beat the two eggs, throw that in, then add the vegetable oil and the milk and mix that on medium speed. So this is the cup of hot boiling water. <laughs> of course I made a mess, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean it up.
so we're gonna pour in the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients bit by bit while keeping it on a medium speed the coffee and if your cake looks a little bit runny that is good it not it's not supposed to look stiff it is supposed to look a bit runny Yo, I forgot the vanilla extract. So, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Let's hope it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> Let's hope it tastes good. I'm gonna mix that back all up. Mix that all up. Now it's time to grease the pans and put some cocoa powder. Okay, okay. I think I probably would have put too much oil in that. That's soaking up too much. Please do not be like me and put too much oil in the pans. So if you can see the darker layer outside of the cake batter, that is where there's a little too much oil with the cocoa powder. The baking pans will go into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're only gonna leave it for like 35 minutes. Check on it, see if it's okay. Um, if it needs to go more than 35 minutes, you put it back in, but you have to monitor it, right? Um, and now we're gonna start with working on the buttercream slash frosting so we're gonna go in with three sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature we're gonna cream that for about 30 seconds six cups of sifted powdered sugar a quarter cup of cocoa powder a tablespoon of whole milk I like to put a little cognac in mine. <laughs> so we have one tablespoon of Hennessy. It's just gonna bring out the flavor a little bit better. And later on, you'll see me adding like three dashes of cinnamon powder and a pinch of salt. And that's just if you would like to. But the standard thing is your three sticks of butter six cups of sifted powdered sugar a quarter cup of cocoa powder 
and a tablespoon of whole milk.
let me know if it looks good let me you know gas my flow bit no, i'm lying i'm just joking you know let me know if, it, if you think it looks good it did taste really really good let me know if you're gonna try it if you're gonna switch out anything or even after you watch this video and you want to come back and re-watch it and say well, okay girl i tried this blah 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 i added this i removed this that kind of thing let me know let me know right secondly if you were like me and you don't know what cake boy was well we know it together right and for those of you who know what cake ball is let me know if i explain it a little okay -ish. <laughs> right or well, clarify it for me in the comments below i would appreciate it and lastly thank you for being understanding thank you for reaching out to me to see if i'm okay and um we're back for better and i love you guys you're like my whole family um so i'll leave you there for now oh next week we're gonna talk about like fun things that you can do in your relationship so stay tuned for that come back next week we're gonna talk about that right and i'll talk to you soon bye